Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. It is now 2021 so happy new year to everybody. I hope that you're all well. I thought that we'll do a clean with me and an undecorate with me basically after Christmas, cleaning up all of the mess and getting a good start to the year. So I hope you can join me and I hope it gives you lots of cleaning motivation. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So I won't lie to you, this took me ages, even with Harrison's help, bless his little heart. Um, the tree always takes a long time to bring down and I was trying to organise it in my new boxes. Um, so my box, my bauble box, I actually got from Home Bargains and it was £7.99 and oh my goodness, I highly recommend one of those. I was a bit unsure and I'm so glad that I got it. Also, I had a message off of a lovely lady. Um, she had bought this deco mesh for her tree and when she brought it down, she said, what do I do? Do I throw it away? Do I reuse it? Because it's all a mess. If you just stretch it out and roll it back up like that, like I just showed you, then that d definitely 100% use it again next year. It's nothing wrong with it. Um, so yeah, just in case you did want to know if you did buy it this last year.
Yep, if you haven't already guessed, this is the toy corner and usually it's very well hidden um, but it got in a right state and like I said, I need to declutter. In fact, have I said that yet? I do need to declutter throughout the entire of January so watch out for a lot of decluttering going on. But yeah, someone actually asked me in my comments before where is all the, my children's toys and there you go. Pretty much in every corner of every room but this is the bad corner. But that's just because he brings all his toys down. But that's why I quite like this corner being it looked like a waste of space when I first did it. But actually, no, it's right, it's good because it hides toys away, so I like it. But yeah, lots of decluttering to be doing very soon. So this room felt really bare. I mean, are you the same when you take your decorations down? You think, like, when you take the tree down, especially, you think, wow, have I got any furniture? Like, I have, have I got anything in this room? Like, it looked so bare. I mean, I was so glad I had my new rug and my mirrors that I put up before I my decorations because I probably wouldn't have nothing at this point. I was wondering how it was before, and then I was like, is this how it was? So yeah, I'm looking forward to like adding more things to this room. Um, I'm not sure, I've got loads of ideas of what I want to do with the entire house. I've still got to do loads of stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that. We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. Do it right now. 
know we met for a reason, but you're trying to deny that we should be together. It's heavy weather, we're heading for tonight. You better take what you can, cause the time is right now. So we're now on to day two. I didn't want to overdo it and sort of take everything down in one go. Some people do, some people don't. I normally do to be fair, but I did have a lot more decorations this year, let's be honest. So I thought I would give myself time. So on day two, I was doing upstairs like the kids' rooms and stuff, and even outside, so you'll see me do a bit of the outside. I literally only have the lights outside on my arch that I need to take off. Um, and other than that, the whole house is now um, de-Christmas, um, if that's the word that you say. Um, so yeah, I just, honestly, it's such a sad thing actually when Christmas decorations come down, for me this year anyway, just because we all know what happened under the Christmas tree for me this year. Um, so it was really sad, but at the same time, I love a fresh start and I just think by cleaning and um, decorating and all of that really gives you good like. I don't know, it declutters your mind. So that is what I do love about it. A nice fresh start for January. So I'm going to have quite a lot of decluttering to do in January, I don't know if you're like me but I've realised I didn't declutter enough before Christmas, hence like the overload of toys. All of the toys that are in that toy box over there with the grey boxes, generally a lot of them don't get played with, they're like bits and bobs, 
so I really need to go through them and empty them so that I can make way for the new toys but yes Harrison does have a few extra big teddies now so that's great but if I'm honest with you most of his toys are teddies because he just loves a teddy I spy with my little eye. Can everybody tell what Isabella got for Christmas this year? So before Christmas, she was really obsessed with having Chanel, like that Chanel print that you can see in the corner there. I still need to put that up, by the way. Um, but yeah, she was obsessed with the Chanel print. And I'm like, I wonder if it's like the twin years, because she's obviously not a teenager, but she's like coming into like her own. And she said she's watched YouTube and that's what YouTubers have. So yeah, my mum got her some Chanel bedding to go with her Chanel print that she asked for. So she's all Chanel'd out. Um, but yeah, it looks like a very bougie room for a 10 year old, but that's what she wanted and that's what she got. Um, also at this point when I did the kids bedrooms, I never bought enough boxes, storage boxes to put the Christmas stuff in because I wasn't sure how many I needed. I was trying to work it out. So after this video, like so now I have actually still got to go and get the boxes, but I know what I need. So I've put them in bags for now and they're just sitting in my hallway at waiting to go into a box, which I'm going to buy tomorrow um fingers crossed I don't know. We'll never know. 
So that was all that I had time for so thank you very much for watching I hope you did enjoy it if you're new please subscribe and I hope it gave you lots of cleaning motivation give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video bye